wondered about her and I, and I thought to myself, will she make it? Will she really be fine? Will she make the trip? Will I be able to save her at the end? In what condition will she be? Is she hurt? Is she crying for her mom? You know, it, will she accept me? And at the end of the day, will she trust me to walk this journey with her? Tembi was rescued from the Timbavati in 2012 during a search for poachers, but we found her instead. She was one of the lucky ones. Petronelle and the Care for Wild team are embarking on a journey to save and protect Africa's rhinos. The darting and dehorning of rhinos is essential on some reserves, and that's exactly what they're doing today. Rhino is safely immobilized and the team are on their way to begin the dehorning and sampling process. There is only a 20 minute window period to complete this process before the animal is at risk. Six. Oh, so six, seven. DNA samples through blood, skin, horn and hair are collected and fed into a forensic database called RODIS. This will enable officials to collect invaluable data on rhinos and like even gather the, evidence the, to link recovered the, horns to individual and poaching cases. Ear notching and microchipping are both effective methods of identification. Okay. Okay, then we just put the piece of tissue in there, in the container with the Okay, that is a male, man. Indeed. The horn is then humanely removed to deter poachers and essentially to try and save the animal's life. That's why we just check it, we'll get a new chip once we're finished here. Both the, the cut off horn will get a chip and the remaining part of the horn will also get a chip. It's like a prison number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. We need to make sure in 2050 there's still rhino and there's a lot of rhino. If you can wake up in the morning and look out of your window and know you've done something, you really have done something, your hands are dirty, you've been playing with them in the mud, You've been crying with them when they wake up at night and crying for their moms. And you feel the soul. And you feel that complete devastation. What happened to me? Where am I? Then you'll know. Then you'll feel it. The second you lay their hands on them, the first time, you decide, you take this responsibility to make sure where this road is leading, that this little one comes out fine. I hear all these uh, movie stars having these opinions, but have they ever raised a rhino? Have they ever kissed a rhino? Have they ever held the rhino while the rhino is busy dying? Have they? And I don't think that. You do not give up on them ever. People focus on the death of rhinos, but we should focus on their lives and celebrate those who have survived. There is hope, there is life, there is care for wild. <laughs>